quietly let it gather, let it come. The light, the tide is rising. The position of women is nothing but to make fools of men. Don't you believe in our emancipation? I'll tell you after the meeting. A revolution was brewing in Boston. There's never been a more attractive female speaker before the American public. You say it is a very nice, comfortable, cozy box with nice glass sides so that we can see out and that all that is needed is another quiet turn of the key. That is very easily answered. Good gentlemen, you have never been in the box and you do not know how it feels. Lorena? Is that her name? If you ask me, I think she cares as much for the rights of women as she does for the Panama Canal. An intense tug of war was also taking place. Will you be my friend? My friend of friends. Forever and ever. Can you feel my hand draw out the rays of affirmation? Have you got that, Mr. Pardon? Olive's told me about you. That you're a great enemy to our movement. If you regard me as an enemy, it was very kind of you to receive me. I dare say you don't like the idea of her marrying at all. You break up a friendship that has so much interest for you. You seem to think that I control Verena's actions and her desires and that I'm jealous of any other relations she may possibly form. To renounce everything, to give up everything, yourself, your life. Are you ready for it? And I make you see how much more natural it is. Not to say agreeable, to give yourself to a man instead of to a movement of some morbid old maid. He's an enemy. An enemy of our 